thumb in the rough. And I have a package here. Yes, the budget mum. So for those of you that have been watching me, um, putting this into the Finance Friday videos, this is an unboxing, so it should have been Mail Monday. But this fits into Finance Friday because this is from the budget mum. So those that are watching my finance journey where I have actually managed to achieve some significant things is through the budget mum, um, Kamiko Love. So she's really brilliant, but they had a pre-sale going on for their latest books. Um, and I ordered from there. And I ordered a few things. Now, it's really funny. I'll go through it first. With their pre-release, which was this 15th of September, I knew that for me to get what I wanted, I had to get in early. I was due on day shift. The pre-release came out at something like 11 o'clock or midnight. I think it was actually midnight. And I was one minute past midnight and I was on and I purchased what I wanted and I got everything I wanted. When I got out of bed four and a half hours later, what I wanted, which is in here, was actually sold out. So it took less than five hours for them to sell out on the product that I wanted, So, which is why I stayed up. So let's open this up. I will just pull out the invoice. And there's quite a bit in here. So I did pay... Um, how do I put it? Shipping was seventy-six dollars, but so I have a gift card percentage off. My cash envelopes, um, my cash totals. You may have seen me using these. Well, these are actually much cuter. So I did buy those. Then what do we got here? That just looks like a bookmark. Cash envelopes and electronic cash tracking. Okay, I'll have a look at those shortly. This is pencil case. Uh, fits into quite a lot of folders, but in here is also the budget mum pen. So yeah, I'm a stick up sucker for pen, but it looks pretty good. Now, one of the th the thing that ran out was this. Filofax. You can purchase the same Filofax from uh, Filofax, but I don't believe you can purchase the same with the budget mum on it. But for those that are wondering what's going on there, this replaces is I have one that I'm already using, which is plain black and white. This is much nicer. Um, has a little pocket on the outside. Yet again, same as the inside of mine, I can, you know, my cash envelopes do go in there. But I just love the picture of this. It's got pouch for holding uh, credit cards. It's got the pen holder. Uh, coins. Also got stretchy band here and here. So lots more space than what I currently have for my credit cards. And yeah. So this was what I stayed up for, which I'm really wrapped about. And I should be able to slide my mobile phone in there. What I've been doing is putting my mobile phone on the inside of that, and it's been very hard to close. But being able to put my mobile phone on the outside, yeehaw, happy days. But the pre-release was actually all about this box set. Okay, so that is everything out of there. a big box so it's all about the box set but what I will do is I'm going to open up uh, this one one of the things you got with this was the botanical set <laughs> the botanical set of cash envelopes so they're just the paper envelopes but they're quite nice I do like them they're pretty. What I can do instead of, so what they have instead of the cards on them, there is actually the matching um, card to go on those. 
Okay, so that's um, cash envelopes in there. The file facts, which is fantastic. My envelope that holds the pens, but this is the Budget Mum's new um, style. She does want to have one, there's two types. One is um, a full on book. But this one is the handy small pack. So, open this up. And what I mean by handy small pack is that, if I can work out how to open this. Oh, that's right. So, this is actually not one book. When I open this up, you can actually see it is a range of books. Um, bring that up to you. So it is January to December. Instructions in yearly uh, savings. I'm just going to rearrange this because I'm going to be starting this November with actually tomorrow's paycheck. <laughs> okay, so this actually comes with uh, instructions and really spendings. There is a few other little bits and pieces in here. Let's take them all out. Okay. That one, that one, and that one. So what the way these are designed is you have one workbook out and you work with the one workbook. There is some cutesy stickers and um, a letter from Kamiko. Today I give you permission. So I'm going to. Today I give you permission to find hope with your finances. So uh, I've been using her method, but I have been using them on the printout documents. Uh, I purchased the printout, but I was looking forward to the book. Uh, this comes with the instructions on how to do it, and there is yearly. Um, this is the yearly stuff. So, when you're actually filling out um, your budgets, you've got your stuff that you've got your. This one here. Let's bring this up. This one here, membership and subscription. So when you've got things that happen every month, this is on here. You can work with that. There's your yearly savings and goals. Hang on. So this takes you through everything you need to work out everything. What all the trackers are doing. Okay. You do, I do watch her whenever she releases and puts a video on it. So financial plan. Goal worksheet, short term goals, medium term goals, long term goals. Membership subscription, which I just showed you. Your yearly, go yearly savings, goals and events. So goal, how much you want for the year, the amount and when it's due. So you've got a eight there. Then you have a yearly tracker for those for four, four, so that's for, just for four goals, a yearly tracker, oh hang on, and there's the other four, okay, so you got a yearly tracker for eight goals, then you've probably seen me filling in the sinking funds, so that's the new sinking funds, it's the same flowers, just a smaller version, yearly spending overview, so you have your expense categories, whatever income you get and then your expense categories and you can see what they're like going from month to month. Uh, your yearly balance. Let's come on focus. So your savings balance, your debt balance, your retirement balance and your net worth. Uh, okay. What else have we got in here? Your bill tracker. So your bills that you get monthly and you can tick off what months they paid so even like 
we get our power bill every two months, our gas bill every two months, our water bill every three months. So that's a good way to track those. And then medical bill tracker. Uh, for me, I wouldn't be using the medical. Oh, I might do actually. Who knows? Who knows? But these books are designed to go like that. So, but that's got the instructions. So I'm going to go through the first book. So November. This will be getting filled out <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I can't do it today, but. Um, so, beautiful design. The journey to pay off your debt is to change the way you look at money and how you manage it, which already um, is making a difference for me. So just huge difference for me already. And I've done it August, September, October, three months. I have no credit card debt. Um, a loan that was not due to be finished until end of this, uh, end of November is paid out. I've made additional payments to my personal loan. So, yeah. This workbook belongs to, if I found client finally, kindly, finally, kindly contact. So then you've got your month. So what bills are expected to come out what day. And you will see that there is actually no dates. So you just put the dates on there yourself with the goals for the month. Just some thoughts and notes, and then you do get your November, your pay, pay, paycheck bill tracker. Okay, so if I actually grab this, so what you've got is what's on that page there is actually on two pay on two pages. Okay, your paycheck bill tracker, um, your extra debt, your extra savings, and your cash envelope breakdown. And there's one for I think they did it for five week, five weeks worth. Okay, across, and let's keep going until I get. To, there's quite a few of those. Okay, right, and then you go on to your expense tracker which has your account and starting balance so I have one that goes electronic and one that is cash so you've got one two three four five six okay now then you go on to your debt payment plan so who, what you owe in your way of debts, the balance, the interest rate, minimum payment, and the order that you pay them, that you want them paid. Um, extra debt payments, monthly debt payments, overall debt progress. Sorry, this light's a bit bright at the moment. Okay, and then on to the next page is monthly net worth, your assets and liabilities. I still haven't done that. Still haven't done that. Okay, and then you've got your monthly breakdown. So that just goes with your categories, what you budgeted for, what you spent, and the difference, and the percent of your income. And the same goes through for your debt and your savings. Sorry. So when you look at debt and savings, this is where it's really important um, which is just where, where Kamiko turns around and says if you don't know how, what percentage debt you're paying and percentage savings you know it, you don't know whether you're reaching your goals which is why um, this one I need to really start kicking into um, then your spending comparison so that will be between October and November and you'll find in the next one it will be between November and December and just some notes pages they do have the cash envelopes uh, the cash slips the teller slips but I have this book um, yeah 
Okay, so that is every one of those is like this. And instead of having a big file on my desk, all I'm going to need to do is just have the one book on my desk. So just one book on my desk. And then this box on my desk as well, just covered up. Some cute little stickers on here. Some cute stickers. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm looking forward to this, so looking forward to this. Um, budget coming up. You will see this um, instead of uh, my Friday, Friday, Friday Finance video for the budget. So I'll actually put this one here and then you will see going forward I'll be using these books to do my budget and keep everything under control. And on that note, gents, uh, links down below to these products where you can get these. Um, I will actually put in links to uh, the Budget Mums YouTube channel um, and I will put it to the web, uh, web page for Budget by Paycheck. She also has um, another workbook, Live Rich Planner, there we go, um, another option to go with if you're a planner and you want to plan or planning and budget in together. Um, that book was just overkill for me. So um, yeah, links for that. So Gems, I will say thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully you get something out of this. Um, I actually, if you're looking for a way to budget, she's actually made a lot of sense for me because I get paid fortnightly. A lot of things say budget monthly, you know, but fortnightly makes it so much easier for me to manage. Um, but check her out. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you must. Um, hit the subscribe button, bell to be notified. Leave me comments. What do you think? This is actually what I think is real. I love this. I really do. Um, and then, of course, consider becoming a member. And I will say a little big note, big shout out to my current members at the moment um, who are listed here. And Gems, on that note, I will say thank you for watching and bye for now.